Sorry, it's been a while. So, yeah, you know what? One sec. What's happening, all you cool cats and kittens? So, today's episode, we are gonna learn how to do a superhero landing. So the question you have to ask yourself is, what's the name of my cinematic universe? Scratch that idea, franchises are overrated. So here's an idea. Maybe get yourself a superhero costume. Now, it's not mandatory or anything, but just a little tiny suggestion. Now, I didn't get those threads from the superhero store, but I got them at good ones. So what you're gonna wanna do is just kind of aggressively just you know, yeah. Here, let's try that again. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you kind of aggressively just. <sighs> I'm too out of shape for this shit. y'all welcome back to another episode so if you want to get to the tutorial aspect of the video here's the timer so you can just skip to that yeah anyways um that was the first short film idea that i did in the last i don't know four years or so i'm hoping to do more stuff when it comes to short films i'm looking to do more animation stuff i just started learning uh Cinema 4D, which is a 3D animation program. It's very new for me, so I think I'll see progress in the next six months to a year. That video you just saw, it was just gonna be a straightforward tutorial and just show you guys the superhero landing part. I just was thinking, I don't want this to just be a straight tutorial just showing a landing. I'm like, I wanna show a story kind of leading up to that point. I just kind of took advantage of the whole thing and was like, I'm gonna write this as a scripted idea and see what I can do with it. And I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm really happy about this thing. You just made it to the tutorial aspect of the video. So this is what I did. So I filmed two separate clips. So I filmed one clip of me running and jumping as high as I can and landing on the ground. And then I filmed another clip of the camera moving upward. So this was all on a tripod. And what I did was the camera moving up I actually reversed that clip so it looks like the camera's moving down. I did all this in After Effects. So what I did was I drew a mask perfectly around the shape of my body. Now you can do this the hard way where you do each individual frame with its own separate mask or you can make it really easy on yourself and not have to go each individual frame. If you're not familiar with how to mask, first thing to do is get acquainted with the Bezier tool. And once you select that, choose the clip that you plan to mask around. So from the first frame that I traced around myself, it took me a total of three minutes and 17 seconds to do. So through this, I just decided to kind of speed up the clip to get to the next point, which is after you're done masking around your first frame, click under the clip, choose mask, and hit the stopwatch icon next to mask path. So that way, will automatically keyframe the mask. So if you go into a different frame, you can readjust all the points to match properly around your subject. And in this case, myself. So you're just pretty much gonna keep repeating the same process over and over until you finally get to the end of the clip. And this was a total of 16 frames that I did the same process to. And this can take quite a few hours. It's pretty much like uh, doing a flip book. Also, what you're gonna wanna do is once you're done masking out your clip is um, kind of refine the edges a little bit. And the way you can do this is actually by using the feather tool and the mask expansion tool. So that way it looks a little bit smoother and doesn't look so harsh. Now, if uh, I wanted to save myself some time, I probably could have just used a green screen for this whole thing. So that way I didn't have to spend so much time doing this. But that's just part of the learning experience is sometimes you're not gonna have the convenience of those tools. So you just gotta work with what you have. So I actually use the masking technique quite frequently in my videos. Say someone just walks completely across the frame, I'm able to use that as an opportunity to change the scene location. So 
in a weird way, you're able to kind of cut corners a little bit and not have to go into a full on explanation of how you got from one place to another. Perfect example of someone who uses this a lot in films is uh, Edgar Wright. And he did Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. He's done quite a few great movies as well. Actually, I think all his movies are great. He's probably like one of my favorite modern film directors. But anyways, um, I think it's about time I'm gonna wrap things up. Thanks again for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to leave any sort of comment below. I hope you guys learned something new from this episode. And definitely looking forward to sharing my short films with you guys in the future. And see you next time.